Hi everyone, this is Anna with Homemade Home and I thought I'd turn the camera on and show you how I make my homemade soap. First, um, since I already kind of started, I'm going to tell you what I've done so far and bring you along. So far I have graded up my Phil Napa bar and I put in my water so far, I put three to four cups of water in here and I always, this bowl is just used this pot is one that I got old that I had that I burnt a little so now I use this for my um, detergent for my clothes so in here so far I got about a half a stick grated in here and I am just slowly melting it in here and then after all of this melts, I'm going to pour this into my Lowe's bucket. I think it's a Lowe's one. It's one of those big buckets that you buy at Lowe's. I think it's 10 gallons or something like that or 5 gallon bucket. And I'll show you what it is and I'm going to find out exactly how many, you know, gallons it is. So I'm going to bring you right back after I get this a little melted down because it's going to take some time and I'm going to tell you how long it took so that you know how long it will take whenever you're about to go make it. Now there is a dry one you can do and all you do is you shred up this really tiny. You do a cup of the Armor Hammer washing soda and a cup of the borax and you use a tablespoon of that in your laundry soap and that's it as your laundry soap. Um, I do liquid because I find that it, um, when I do cold washes, that the, I still have some of the powder stuff in my laundry. So that's why I'm doing it. I do liquid. Um, not always, but I just, I like doing the liquid. I feel like it's better for your washing machine and all of that. It's in my head. Probably not true. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to bring you back once I get this all melted, all my Phil's Napa melted in here. And I do a little at a time. You don't want to put all, it, all of it in at one time. You want to melt a little and then put some more. Melt a little, put some more. Okay? And I'm going to bring you back once I get this all melted. Okay guys, I have got everything melted down and I'm going to add to this a cup of borax and let me show you what it, well, let me show you this one since I have it. A cup of Laundry Booster Super Washing Soda. And it's by Arm & Hammer. And they do have another company that makes it. So it's, it's not regular baking soda. It is washing soda. So this is for laundry, kitchen, and cleans all that stuff. And you could probably also use this as a cleaning solution on your countertops and all that too if you wanted to. But you probably want to dilute it more than, you know. Okay. So I'm going to put a cup of this in. And, just a minute, let me get the borax. And this is borax. It is an all-natural cleaner, and so is the um, super washing soda. And I think the Feel Napa is, too. Um, but I'm not sure, so I, don't quote me on that. I'm going to read the package and let you know. So, I'm going to add in a cup of borax. First, let that melt down. I'm going to add in a cup of the Armor Hammer washing soda. Let that melt down, and then I'm going to bring you back. So far, I have melted all my stuff together, and I used, I went ahead and used, when I was melting, I went ahead and used two cups of borax, two cups of the washing soda, because I just wanted it to, I usually use soap, and with the soap, I only use the one cup to one cup ratio because the soap is, makes it a lot thicker. It's a bigger bar of soap than the Phil Napa is. So that's why I did that. Now, um, 
I poured it in and then I filled up my bucket almost to the top. There's still some room here. And this is a five gallon bucket because it's going to grow overnight. Like it, when you let it set, like I'm going to let this set for a couple hours. I usually, um, like you can use this right now, but I usually let it set for a couple hours or overnight. And then I come back and I grind it up with my emulsifier. And then I'm going to add this to my jugs that I have that I put my laundry soap in. It's just old laundry containers that I got from people that I know my family um so or you can use the water jugs so you, you want to use hot water when you fill it up so I used hot water filled it rest up after I poured in my solution and after that I am going to put half of my solution half water into my jugs so I'm gonna fill up my jug halfway and then get this stuff and fill it the rest up with this and shake it shake it shake it and every time you use it you want to shake it um, because it, it tries to separate you know and uh, that's it three ingredients well four ingredients if you count the water and you have laundry soap this will make 10 gallons of laundry soap so if you add that up, your borax is like $3, your washing um, soda is $3, your Phil's Napa bar is $1, and, well, 94 cents, mm -hmm. and your water is practically free out of your sink. And I use hot water to fill the bucket up. And I use hot water to fill up my jugs halfway. Thanks for watching, and once I get a tripod, my videos will be a little better because then you can see everything I'm doing rather than just seeing me come back and stuff like that because when I'm trying to one-hand everything and it doesn't work. So, um, thanks for watching, and be blessed, and make sure you subscribe so you can see the next DIY or vlog that I do. Have a great day and be blessed. Bye!